their brother Nasir, make a promise. We won't let you run away from the country. That's the only way I will leave this podium. <laughs> Where is the promise? <laughs> you make the promise. I promise. Okay. I promise, even on a part time basis. There's so much talk on Arufa not being, you know. Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Why is it that uh, so many people are crying that uh, they need him? Is, is he the best person in Nigeria to be a minister in the Federal, the Federal Republic of Nigeria? Is he the most intelligent person? Oh, hell no. So why all this talk here and there? Some say that he was the one that rooted for the presidential candidate must go to the south. So therefore, they must give him the ministerial uh, and they must make him a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I don't understand. So it's just all about what you can do, compensation. Then they compensate you with a, a ministerial position. Then from there, what next? That's the reason why we have a lot of, um, how do they call it, people not performing. You know, some say that if they give him Ministry of uh, Power, he will deliver just as he delivers as the Minister of FCT in some years past. Oh, no, I don't think so. His religious intolerance is, is too much. If you look at his utterances, you know, and you compare that with, uh, with other ministerial nominees, you know, you cannot tell me that, okay, somebody that stole um, 52 billion naira and somebody that said that uh, he, he don't believe that uh, this tag called Nigeria, you know, you know, referring to how Nigeria behave or the things that Nigeria have cost the youth in the past. You can't compel that to when somebody is trying to throw the country into war. Right? So, but then, that's not to justify to say that, okay, so um, uh, those people can be the minister. Uh, that's a small crime. No. What I'm trying to say here is this. You can't compare these two. But then, even at that, I still stand on the opinion that those that stole money, 52 billion naira, or could not account for the 52 billion naira and has been cleared as a minister, they should be investigated and not being given that position as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. They were a minister when they stole the money. So give them that position again, they, they will steal more. Now, as to the young man who's, who's, who's uh, case on uh, not believing in Nigeria and all of that, people are raising so much talk and comparing him with uh, Aerofile. You see, who believe in this country in the first place? Do the leaders even believe in this country? If they really believe that the country will progress and all of that, would they be doing what they are doing? They don't believe in this country. They try as much as possible to steal anything they want to steal and move away. So look at this that happened now. Aerofile, you know, during the campaign, Tinubu said he wouldn't let him run away from the country. And what happened? Nigel made a promise. He went to the podium and he said, like, I made a promise. Now, they are saying he's withdrawing for the ministerial leaders. Everybody is shouting here and there. Who is Erufai? Is he the best person in Nigeria? No. So please, let's keep that aside. Let's keep that aside and move forward. You know, as long as Erufai didn't pass through the screening, I don't expect those other two to pass through the screening too. Because they also did what is wrong. But exception of the other young guy who talks about, you know, the, the image of Nigeria and the international community. Facts. Because me and you know that it is not even those boys that do Yahoo Yahoo that tarnish the image of this nation. But our politicians, they're the ones that tarnish the image of this nation. And you know, when you hear Nigeria, they want to do a special check on you. So if you do an international business and all of that, you know, it's so worrisome. You know, so him saying that and now in the government, what can he change? Can he actually change the narrative? So he said that out of pain and of the fact that ah, this is too bad. Now he's into government. Let's see how it, it will go. So I, I expect that one to pass. But the other one has still to be uh, 52 billion naira. I'll talk much more about that. And I'll bring the video to you to understand actually what the money was meant for and how they diverted that money. Stay with us throughout this week. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you have not done so and like this video, share please, make some comments and let's have a conversation what you think or feel about our videos. Thank you.